This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Probellum's double header. The first part um, here at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Stadium. I'm joined by Sonny Edwards. What are you doing here? You're fighting tomorrow. Why are you here? I'm soaking it all up. I mean, it's only a 30 second walk from my hotel. So I've come over to support John. I've come over to see the, the event, see the arena, see the venue. And yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, you say that, but I think a lot of fighters kind of wouldn't put themselves here tonight. They would have kind of just chilled out in their room. But you're relaxed as you always are for every fight. So you can come here, watch the fights, and it's like you're you're back in your room. I enjoy boxing, Coogan. If I weren't here, I'd probably be watching it back in the room. So I might as well come, sit down, have a little mooch, have a little socialise. What am I going to be in the hotel lobby? You know what I mean? It's like I said, boxing is not a burden for me. I enjoy it. This anything is just. You know what I mean? It's getting the engine running, do you know what I mean? And, and I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. It's a, it's a big stage and it's a big fight for me. It sort of, it seems right now like the gate towards the mega fight for Martinez. That's kind of what's getting dangled in my, in my face for after this. So, you know, I'm, I'm here to enjoy it. I'm here to enjoy it and soak up the atmosphere, soak up the energy and take it into the ring with me tomorrow. We just saw a uh, big Jalilov. Uh, stopping Sokolowski, uh, impressive. Yeah, I've been I've been very impressed with Janilov since the amateurs. He's he's a beast to be honest. I think an absolute beast. And Sokolowski is, you know, he's as tough. Was that for a title? Why is Maurizio giving him a, a, a medal? Maurizio's always got a title or a medal. To be fair, I mean, if he's not letting Mexican fighters fight about after failing drug tests, he's giving out medals and trophies somewhere, isn't he? He's a madman, pretty <laughs> Sonny, what I want to talk to you about uh, before I let you go, obviously, listen, I know a lot's happened this week, which we don't need to dwell on, but in the face-off you had on with Probellum with uh, Mohamed Rasim, you took great offence to him saying that you were not like the best opponent that he'd faced. I wanted you to kind of dwell on that a little bit. No, because he might be right. I mean... The Maruti that he fought might be better than the Maruti I fought. It might be better than me, um, who knows. But he said that he beat a lot of fighters better than me. He said hundreds. He started naming amateur fighters and and it just offended me a little bit, Coogan, if I'm honest. And then I went, name one professional fighter that he beat as better than me. And he named McGramo, a kid that he beat in his fifth fight. And then Nakatani knocked out. Not on my level. He's not. I don't think he's won outside of, outside of uh, the Philippines. So... I just wanted him to clarify it and he said the wrong answer, do you know what I mean? At least give him my credit. This is his best fight and on Saturday I'm going to show him tomorrow, do you know what I mean? I'm going to really, really show him. And then I'm going to ask him after if I'm the best person he's fought. Because I'm telling you I am. I, I know I am. So give him my props. He's a tough fighter. He's not the best fighter I've beat. Maruti is. He's beat him. So yeah, he just I, just, I, took, I, took, I did take a little bit of offence to that. And don't get me wrong, the first 10 minutes of the gloves are off was a snooze fest. So I just thought I'd, you know, I mean, I'd get a little bit going as I do, Coogan, if I'm perfectly honest. But when he said that, I was like, hang on a minute, I'm not letting you sit there and say that I have no retort. You know what I mean? You're going you're gonna to hear from me on that one. And then, like I said, he said McGraymo, so I had to laugh at him. Like, and if he generally thinks McGraymo is a better fighter than me, and that's where he's gauging this fight, then he's fucking miles off, to be perfectly honest. I'm, I'm special, you know what I mean? I'm not... I'm not, I'm not a regular, regular sort of fighter, I'm special. I know you're not one to overlook any opponent you've ever been in the ring with, but when people talk about Martinez and whoever else, does that distract you? Do you, do you kind of, are you just making conversation when you're kind of responding to questions about whoever else, when you've got a fight, literally, whether it's tomorrow or in two days time, you still got that fight. Is it a distraction when people start talking to you about other fights? Not really. Like I said, it's just it's just general chit chat. I've got all these thoughts that have ran through my brain a hundred million times over. I'm a proper little ADHD kid. My mind's going all the time. So I plan for the best. I plan for the worst. I plan for the middle. I plan. I'm constantly seeing in my head, visualising naturally, without even thinking about it, where I want to go, how I want to take it, little steps I'm going to take. But I know it's a tough fight. He's an aggressive fighter. He, he'll probably be, try and be quite dirty. He'll probably try and rough me up a little bit. But I'm ready for it. I love fighting, Coogan. I really, really love what I do. Um, I don't, you know, I take every step at a time. 
just because I might be looking or speaking about it because I'm getting asked about it. Of course, that's the fight in the division. I'm always going to get asked about that for now until I put that one to bed and, and, and show that I'm better than him as well. It's, it is what it is, but I'm way too competitive. I'm extremely competitive, so I, I don't take any fight lightly. Trust me, I haven't been cutting corners, I haven't been missing gym, I haven't been going to grind, oh yeah, sack it off today. Nah, 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 if anything, it's the complete opposite. I'm constantly grinding, I'm constantly improving, my shape's getting better, the way I'm getting down to weight's getting better, my fitness is getting better, my results on the fitness test that I'm doing before I come into a fight week is getting better. I know where I'm going, and it's in a forward direction. I'm maturing more, I'm physically developing, you can see it, I'm getting wider, my shoulders, my back's getting bigger, and I'm punching harder each, each fight, so, and I'm getting more confidence in my 12-round ability. I'm a, I've always known I'm a very good 12-round fighter. And I weren't sure if it was because I boxed at a certain pace and I boxed at a certain rhythm that allowed me to be. Now I know I'm a very good 12-round fighter because I'm ridiculously fit and I'm ridiculously motivated, ridiculously competitive. And I just want to win everything. I want the stars, the moon and the sky above it, if I'm perfectly honest. And I'm in a position now where why shouldn't I believe I can go and do all the things that I'm saying? Half the boxing world, more I was the underdog, half the boxing world didn't have me beating Marotti, didn't have me getting this far. So now I'm here, what, you think I'm going to start limiting my self-expectations and my self-belief? Nah, if anything, it's just getting further and further. But I know a camp a year ago, what, the hard work I did there, the sacrifice I made there, the, um, the work I put in, that won't stand for much now. I've got to be doing it over and over and over and over again. I can't start slacking now. This is when I've got to make the work count this is when I've got to be even more professional even more on it because now I've got a massive target on my back where everyone's out there studying my fights studying my tapes uh, you know they think that I switch off in certain rounds and they think that I can't take a shot Coogan I've never actually been literally hurt in the ring people have seen me down flash knockdowns off balance one foot was in the air when I got caught with a shot I got up I was winning the round before I got up won the rest of the round and the rest of the fight both times I've never been hurt and I've been hit by world-class punchers. Maruti was a world-class puncher, a devastating puncher. Look how he breaks down everyone else. He didn't get remotely near to breaking me down. Like I said, I'm different to all these other fighters. I approach boxing, my mindset's different. I'm a reactive fighter and I use my IQ to make me win these fights easy. And if you ask me to design a fighter, height, fight style, to her anger, aggression, uh, Wazim is like my archetype of what I would want to fight and I'm going to show that tomorrow and I'm going to really express myself and I'm looking forward to doing it. We we'll look forward to tomorrow night live on Eurosport, Discovery Plus. For people that don't know, they should know because if they follow you they'll know exactly where this fight's taking place here in Dubai tomorrow night. If you're in the UK watching Sunny, Eurosport, Discovery Plus, tune in because uh, yeah, it's going to go out to a big, big audience. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thanking Probellum for the, the great platform, the belief in me and my career. This is the second time I've headlined one of their shows. They liked what they saw last time. They liked how I was received and, and the feedback they got from the show. So here I am again headlining. Hopefully, I just keep going and going. Bigger fights, bigger nights, and yeah, bigger lights. Final question, um, and this isn't you talking about it. This is me asking you about it. Things go well for you tomorrow night. By the time this goes out, it'll be tonight. Are you actively looking and chasing and and uh, pushing your advisor, Daniel, your man, everyone for that Martinez fight? Is that what you're going to be looking to do? Since Eddie told me to behave, I've been kissing his ass at every opportunity. So Eddie, remember, you're the best promoter in the world. You do the biggest events, the biggest shows. The Zone is really the best platform. I shouldn't even be fighting over here. You know, get me over there, get me with Martinez. Um, but now seriously, in all seriousness, that's the fight I want. That's the fight that can put my legacy a big notch up. The, the profile and the platform that that fight can push me forward. It accelerates my career and it starts putting my stake for being the number one fighter from the UK. Hopefully number one fight in the world in due course. And I'm a bit away from there now, but you know, if I chalked up a Martinez, there may be a Chocolatito, and there may be one of the Bantamweight killers. Who knows what they're going to be talking my name in, in the sense of. So completely, it's the only fight I want. Any other fight right now that gets offered to me will be disappointing. Over to you, Koo. We will look forward to hearing more about that. You've got a job to do tomorrow night or tonight by the time this goes out. So best of luck. And uh, yeah, tune in. Eurosport! Eurosport, Eurosport, Eurosport. Eurosport, Eurosport, Eurosport. Top man.